Hi, it's Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today I'm gonna to share with you my top crochet stitches for baby blankets. Now before I dive in to all of these fabulous crochet blankets, crochet baby blankets, I just want to tell you about the patterns in general because they are all kind of the same. They're very different, but they're all the same. So how they're the same, they are all a super easy one row repeat. So you start the same, you do the same thing, and you end the same every row. So they are perfect for beginners and also super great for like watching TV, crocheting with friends. You can crochet while your grandkids are over. There is nothing very difficult about any of them. They're super easy to do. They don't need too much of your brain and they're really relaxing, very great for de-stressing after a long day or just kind of centering yourself. These are a perfect stitch for that crochet therapy. They are already both right-handed and left-handed tutorials as well as a written pattern over on my website secretyarnery.com. So if you want to make any of these, all of those options are available to you. I will link all of these in the description unless I forget, which sometimes I do, and then go ahead and search for Secret Yarnery and whichever blanket you're working on. So say Secret Yarnery Drunken Granny and then left-handed if you're left-handed and that video or written pattern will pop right up. Do you have any crochet questions you'd like me to answer? Go ahead and ask in the comments under this video. So I'm sure a lot of you know what my favorite blanket is going to be. It is the OG, the original, ready for it? Drunken Granny. Isn't that great? Let me show you the stitches. So fabulous, right? So this is a super easy one row repeat and what makes it really fast is you're working into the spaces. So you don't have to look for a stitch, you're working into a big space every time so it makes it a lot faster. Plus it has this gorgeous one row border. So by the time you are finished with the tutorial, you have your one row border already on your blanket. So it's a complete finished blanket on all four sides. It is gorgeous. So this is the Drunken Granny. So the Drunken Granny, totally love it. There are two tutorials out. My original one, it's about five or six years old, has a lot of views on it, but there is a new one where I included, where I made this blanket. So I included the yarn weight and um, yardage and all that, plus the border. So check out Drunken Granny 2.0 if you wanna make this one. My second best crochet stitch is, drum roll, the Sober Granny. Now the Sober Granny is just as easy as the Drunken Granny, but it does not have any holes in it. Let me get it the right way around. It has no holes in it. Beautiful, right? Look at the stitches. So pretty. So it is just worked into the spaces as well, but there is much, much, much smaller holes. Super easy one row repeat, like all of them will be. And it also includes this gorgeous one, this is a two row border actually. So it's a two row border but also super cute. So this is the Sober Granny if you are looking for it. So Secret Yarnery Sober Granny blanket. It'll show you the stitch, how to do it. It is dreamy. It's really a lovely, lovely blanket. So that's the Sober Granny. And now my number three best stitch for baby blankets. Are you ready? It is the, are you guessing? 
the tipsy. The tipsy granny is a delicious, fast, easy one row repeat. It's a little more into stitches. So this does have stitches or stitches into stitches. So it's not all into spaces, but it is still a really fast blanket. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> Love it. So here you can see it a bit up close. This one does not have a border yet. It is just the stitch but I love it. So this is the Tipsy Granny. Nice and big for a lap gan, right? I love it. It works up so quick. I use Saver and I think a seven millimeter hook. If I remember correct, if it feels like I used a seven milli. It's so dreamy. So this is, I folded it badly. So this is the Tipsy Granny. She's getting there. <laughs> That's the tipsy. And now our number four best crochet stitch for baby blankets is da -ba -ba -ba, the dirty martini granny stitch. It is a one row repeat and basically we make glasses and we make olives. So all of these stitches have a super easy way to remember them. So this is olives and glasses. <laughs> So great. So let me show you these stitches. Another great one. So this is the Dirty Granny. It is so great, it has a bit of a shell feel to it, but it is glasses and olives, and it is just, oops. And very therapeutic to crochet on. It's just so lovely working in, and this is into spaces as well. So that one is also a bit quick. And now our number four, Five best crochet stitch for baby blankets is the guzzling, the guzzling granny. Guzzling because it is a real yarn eater. This is 800 grams of yarn. It's about the same size as the drunken, which is 500, no, 600 grams. So you use a lot more yarn for this stitch, but it is a real beauty. Oh, it's so dreamy. So it's super squishy, it's super soft. I do use Saver for this as well from Ice Yarns. Here are the stitches. So pretty. So this is the guzzling granny, a real yarn eater. <laughs> a yarn eater, but worth it. So pretty. Oops, I guess I should do it that way. Get it all folded up. 
And now my number six best crochet stitch for baby blankets is, I love this one. I don't know if you're gonna guess it. I'm gonna show you the stitch. You tell me if you recognize it. Are you ready? Okay, here is our lucky number six. I gotta unfold it. Ready? Do you remember this one? Have you seen it before? Check out the stitches. Isn't that great? It is also a one row repeat. So pretty. Do you know which one it is? It is the Speedy Granny Ruth Baby Blanket. So this is a Speedy Granny Ruth without any tassels. This is with a DK weight yarn, but you of course can make this stitch in it with any yarn at all. Just use a hook that goes along with your yarn label or goes along or is recommended on your yarn label. And look how beautiful it is. So light. This one is really nice and thin. I used a five millimeter hook for this, but of course you could use this stitch with any yarn, any hook. So pretty. So this is the Speedy Granny Ruth one row repeat. A fabulous stitch and it really does mean speedy. The benefit of this stitch in particular, let me show it to you again. The benefit of this stitch is you skip every fourth stitch. So you do three stitches, chain one, skip one, and there's still no holes. See how it works out? So no holes at all. No holes, but, and you're, no holes, and you're skipping stitches. It's amazing. So that's why it was my grandma's favorite, or that's why I named it. This is a reproduction of one of her blankets that she made me back in the day. Bless her, bless her soul. So that is the Speedy Granny Ruth. The seventh best crochet stitch for baby blankets has to be the Sunday Granny. So this is Granny on a Sunday, and it is actually, <laughs> it's Sunday like with an AE, so like Sunday shop, like you're building a Sunday. So for this blanket, this easy one row repeat, you are making scoops and cherries. So you're like working at a Sunday shop. You're like scoop, cherry, scoop, cherry, all the way along. So it's super easy to remember and so gorgeous. Let me show you. It's beautiful. Isn't that great? Let me show you up close. So that is the Sunday Granny. You of course use a variegated yarn. It doesn't have to be a solid, but with a solid yarn, look how pretty it is. Isn't that nice? Scoops and cherries, scoops and cherries. So this is the Sunday Granny Stitch Baby Blanket and I love it. So if you wanna make baby blankets, all the work's pretty much done for you. The stitch count and everything. The starting chain, so that is the Sunday Granny. And I love it. It's really, a, it's so fun to do. The number eight best crochet stitch for baby blankets. Not eighth because it's worse than any of the others. They are all amazing. It just depends on what you want. If you want holes, if you want lace, if you want it solid, if you want it squishy, if you have a little bit of yarn, if you have a lot of yarn, all those things can help you decide which crochet stitch you want to use. Let me know your favorites in the comments. And now here is number eight. Now this is, this is from a while ago. Did you see it down there? Hmm? Do you know what it is? This is, oh, I gotta open it up. So pretty. Are you ready? 
This is the Pin Curl Granny, the Pin Curl. Now it's, I named it Pin Curl because you know those, the hair from the, like the 1940s, it was like pin curls going back. They were like set along the side. That's what it reminds me of. So here is the Pin Curl Granny. You can't totally see the texture when I hold it up straight to your face like that, but I'll take a picture of it laying down flat and you can see how it is kind of ribbed or maybe you can see in the light, I don't know. I hope you can. But it has a texture going along. So this I use Softly Baby, but you could use any yarn that you have, any yarn that you wanna use. It is a great stitch, really fun to do. It's a little bit of something to think about. Oh, and this blanket also, I gotta tell you about the border. Now this is part of the tutorial. Now there is a tutorial for this border. Look how great that is. So this is the loops and bridges border. It adds a lot of size to any blanket, to be honest, it's amazing. But it's also super easy to do because it's just kind of loops and bridges all the way along. So that is a separate tutorial on my channel, but oh, just such a dreamy border. So I had to show that to you. So those, so this is the pin curl. I just love it. The pin curl granny stitch into a baby blanket. And this one is made with Softly Baby. And those are my all time favorite and best crochet stitches for baby blankets. So what's your favorite? And if you've made any of these, tell us all about it in the comments under this video. I'm waiting for you in that video. I'm putting it here. That video right there, <laughs> stay hooked.